The Armament Research and Development Establishment ARD, is converting its multi-caliber individual weapon system MCIWS, rifle into a single-caliber individual weapon system SCAWS, of caliber 6.8mm and 7.62mm to enhance its versatility and effectiveness for the Indian Army. The SCAWS will provide the Indian Army with a more modern and effective rifle that can fire two calibers of ammunition. ARD expects to complete the conversion within the next few years. The Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, has successfully demonstrated its indigenously developed missile loading and unloading MLU system, a critical component of next-generation missile launch systems. The automated and robotic system ensures rapid, precise, and safe deployment of missiles enhancing India's missile capabilities and national security. The United States has offered to sell or co-produce the air defense version of Stryker Armored Fighting Vehicles, AFSV, to India. India is considering the proposal but has not made a final decision. The AFSV is a highly mobile and adaptable vehicle that can be deployed in high-altitude areas to take out enemy aircraft. If India accepts the offer, it would be a major boost to its military capabilities. American chipmaker AMD has unveiled its largest global design center in Bengaluru, India, as part of a $400 million investment announced in July. The 500,000-square-foot campus will house approximately 3,000 AMD engineers in the coming years focused on the design and development of semiconductor technology. The campus will serve as a center of excellence for the development of leadership products across high-performance CPUs for the data center and PCs and gaming graphics processing units (GPUs). DRDO developed 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system MGS underwent firing trials at Pokhran. As you can see, its cardinal performance compares very favorably with foreign competitors. VRDE is in the lead for this. The gun itself is an ATAGS derivative, obviously. The French Caesar's 55 km figure is attained with a rocket assisted projectile. As far as just ERFBBB rounds are concerned, the MGS outranges it comfortably. The Indian Air Force IAF, will soon be equipped with its highest calibrated ammunition yet, a 1,000kg aerial bomb being developed by Ordnance Factory Kamaria OFK. This new bomb will replace the currently used 1,000-pound, 450kg aerial bomb and will be used in advanced aircraft like Rafale and Jaguar. The indigenous production of the bomb is expected to save the IAF a significant amount of money in import costs and reduce its dependency on other countries. In a pivotal move to bolster India's space technology capabilities, Tata Advanced Systems has joined forces with Satellogic, a pioneer in high-resolution Earth observation data collection. This partnership will pave the way for the development of indigenous low-Earth orbit satellites, empowering India with enhanced Earth observation capabilities and accelerating space technology. The collaboration is expected to reduce India's reliance on foreign technology and strengthen its strategic position in the global space arena.